there, fellow do-it-yourselfers. So here is my Wi-Fi range extender. I guess it's being used in repeater mode, and I think I paid, I don't know, under 30 bucks or something for this, and I uh, can't remember the brand name, but I'll dig that up here in a minute. And it uh, works great. I had uh, trouble with my Wi-Fi signal reaching uh, two televisions, one in the garage and one out on the patio. And uh, I thought, you know, there must be a way to boost the signal. Little Diggin bought this on Amazon, and uh, the only trouble with it was the instructions. It just didn't tell you how to get to this first initial, where was it? Yeah, this first initial screen right here. So I'm just going to do a quick video on how to, how to get there. Okay, so let's plug in the range extender and let it kind of come up. I think next the middle LED, which is the uh, extension LED. If it turns green, it indicates that it's got a <clears throat> connection to the router. There it is. So just to clear out any prior settings, I'm going to hold down the reset button. There we go. Power LED flashed. Looks like it's kind of power cycling here. Okay, that should have cleared out everything. So, okay, back to the phone. Uh, Wi-Fi is on. It is connected to my router called Spectrum Setup A8. And then you see the two networks coming from the range extender. I think what I'm going to go do is run downstairs and push the uh, WPS button on the router. Okay, just push the uh, button, the WPS button on the router downstairs. Let's try and connect uh, to the 2.4. Uh, checking the quality. Go to manage router. You know, these steps are not in the instructions. Manage router. Here's the login page coming from that guy. We're going to do the repeater mode. Whew, out of breath. Long way to go. Up and down the stairs, all the way across the house. Let's start with the 2.4. Put in the password. Yeah, I can just hit paste because I stored it. Password. Oh, I just click finish then. Okay, setup is complete. All right. Check signal status indicator. Hmm. Okay. Completed extender Wi Fi settings. All righty. Oops. Basically, I guess I can get rid of that. Okay, let's go back to here. Security, none. Do, 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 do. I just need to probably refresh here. Okay. Connect the network. Oh, we're going back to. Uh, no, it's alright. Time. Connect. And it's got a lock. Okay, well, that's good. Let's go down here. Well, this one. This is incorrect password. Let's just see what this is this one. So that's the 2.4. Security. That's good. That's good. Okay, let's go back. Uh, put the password in this one. It's connected. Well, I think we're all good. Manage. All right. I think uh, we're golden here. Um, we're going to go just see if it works uh, hooking up the TV. Be right back. 
So real fast, here's the product we're talking about on uh, Amazon, however you pronounce that. Link CRAS, Linkris Wi-Fi Range Extender. 29, 30 bucks on uh, Amazon. So you can find that and uh, grab one if you like. Okay, here we are out in the garage looking at uh, the TV and I pulled up the uh, settings on the network and it says it's connected to our 2.4 gigahertz uh, extended range channel. And you see below my previous attempt with the uh, router that it just didn't have the uh, signal strength. Anyway, here's another still shot. Um, it says that uh, right there in the middle, signal strength, excellent. So we're looking pretty good. I think the trick was uh, two things. I had to hit the WPS button on the router downstairs, and that gives me, I think, two minutes to, you know, go ahead and get connected up. And then also that uh, in the settings on the phone to go to manage router. Uh, you know, none of that was, was in the directions. Hope that helps. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, also subscribe. That would be awesome. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. So long.